Hello, welcome to D&D. It's time for, um, um, Chains of the Abyss. <laughs> as, as I will head up. Duh. Woo. Uh, we can get right into it. Uh, one person is missing, so there's only four people. No, three people. Okay. I need to remember Hey, <laughs> oh, wait, I succeeded in convincing you into <laughs> Uh, yeah, Olympia, you go. You, oh, that's all natural. He, he gained that. <laughs> he gained that shit. Oh my god. <laughs> all natural. God, no implants. No implants, no shit. <laughs> oh, uh, well, I am here. You can't talk about um, uh, your Implant. private information anymore. <clears throat> oh, damn it. I was just about to get my social security to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, in, with my national so. in last session, you had started off fighting against uh, against Lumina, the god of the abyss, Lamel. Uh, of course, you were able to haste Deadman, however, before Deadman could have their moment, uh, Lin had casted silence as the god of uh, uh, life had instructed. Upon casting silence in the area, and Toto was inside of it, Luckily, Toto was blind, however, he saw an entity, something lurching out in the middle of nowhere as it reached out towards Lumina and took him. <clears throat> as even Lumina was powerless against it. Uh, everyone else just saw that Lumina flew away, bitch. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, and yeah, um... After, of course, exploring around, you went through the chests, uh, uh, almost got, uh, blasted. Uh, one of them was empty, another one gave you some cool items, there was a riddle chest. Uh, you went upstairs, where you'd found that the entire place was, like, this weird culty thing with, like, weird runic symbols on the ground, and a weird shrine. <laughs> and, uh... That's when you met uh, a very cool, uh, apparently a salesman of guy called uh, uh, Caravan, who is, uh, you know, a salesman, as he was weirdly building up a, uh, a construct of sorts. Uh, decided to uh, watch over him. Uh, Dean was left uh, to watch over, and so was Toto, while the others began to explore the graves. Where you would begin to see some recognizable names of Queen, Rook, and all that, and their gravestones. And when you came over here, there was porn, and there was more porn, and porn, and porn. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Mention of go fuck yourself as well. Ah, uh, yes, and go fuck yourself, which was non canon. But uh, <clears throat> afterwards, Deadman looked into the jewelry box where they had found that there were exactly four red orbs. Uh, deciding to bag one and pick one up. Uh, well, bag the rest and pick one up. Uh, yeah, uh, that's where we ended it as we walked back out. <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing in there, guys. Really? I did. That's some weird orb. Yeah, sounds about right. All oh, right, with the gem you see. Oh, huh. I mean, Not nothing I had to know in my space. Yeah. Should we get everyone else there? Uh, yeah, um, I think. I mean, there's the other two mausoleums as well. If we wish to look at them. I have a feeling I know what they're going to be there. Yeah, sure. I guess we can check them out then. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Just the uh, dead man being quiet. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. For dead man to be just a <laughs> little bit too nice and set off everyone's sus meters. Uh, like on, the, man being considerate. on the front of the door is a language that you gives you a headache. Uh, I believe dead man had the funny thingy to read it, so uh, they'll bring it up towards it and just go. <clears throat> That's weird. Do you want to tell us what it is? Well, uh, it says on the front that this is 
and looks towards you guys. Apparently, this is the grave of us. Like, uh, us, grave of us. us? Yes, it has our names on it. Yeah, she immediately uh, opens the door. <laughs> I'm I, reading it. Does it have <clears throat> my name? Uh, the door is locked. Also, I should use eyes as a rookie, but yes, it basically it has every single one of your names on it. It has Braska, Toto, Dean, you, Lynn, Deadman, uh, Nug. I sure, I sure wish I had a sending stone. <laughs> <laughs> and if only Braska was alive, he had knock. <laughs> Also, as you uh, try to open the door, it doesn't seem to open as you hear a loud sort of cling noise. Seems that there's a chain wrapped around the front of it. Uh, would you mind stepping back? Okay. All right. She'll uh, step back exactly enough uh, distance and she'll attack with her lance through the door, trying to uh, perfectly place that portal where it would smack into the chain. Alright, when you hit object, it's just an auto crit, so uh, suddenly just like fucking many sort of other lances will just come out of nowhere and pierce it. Okay, the door breaks. It, it can't handle the fact that it just got hit five times. Unlimited <laughs> blade works, alright. Yeah. Whoa, can I have that? Yeah, no. Range. She like looks over your shoulder and eye rolls. <laughs> All right, as, dead man. as you walk on in, it's very dusty. There is no sign of light as this place has just been permeated in pure darkness the entire time. Uh, there are an array of books laid across the sides of each one of these. Uh, all of them seem to not have any sort of names or titles on written on the side of them. And as you go into the grave marks, what it simply says is this. Uh, as a dead man will read it and also sell it and just read it. <clears throat> uh. Oh. Huh. Uh, there is a book, what seems to be, um, a piece of paper with some sort of a uh, large book. Instead of it being simply a square book where you flip over the pages, those it's one of those ones where, like, um, you know, like how you like have a fucking leaflet or something where it opens up in like a zigzag pattern. Mm -hmm. it, it's one of them that are like layered across the top of a zigzag pattern. Both sides have words on them. Hmm. I get to read it. Read. Go ahead. <laughs> She'll step to the side. Ladies first. Okay. <laughs> I read. <Yes. laughs> All right. <clears throat> As you do, it seems to be uh, read like this way, basically from left to right. As uh, as what you find is that every individual page has a number. Uh, basically a Roman numeral of a number inscribed upon it, uh, all the way ranging from uh, 1 uh, to 999. Okay, anything else on those pages? Uh, yes. Uh, that was only the top part where you could read it. Hang on, I need to see what one second. Oh, okay. Uh, 999 is this in Roman numerals. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, as basically you lay across it, every single one of these pages is a story. Uh, specifically, it seems to be a story about you guys. Ready for go. I, oops. Reading through story. What are, like, the specific notable details of those stories? <clears throat> Alright. Uh, on number one, the very first, what it mentions is this. <clears throat> it 
A group of individuals visit into the abyss, unknown of its world and unknown of its place. However, when they stand before the creature of doom, all of their minds shall shatter, and they shall die. However, they are woken anew, ones with packs and ones with gifts, all of which that allow them to live. Within the first iteration, within the first layer, they began to go down and down and down, making friends and accompanying those of the generals, those of the chessboard. Each one gave them a gift, and each one helped them increase to the next. However, when they reached the final layer, when they finally stood before their true enemy, the enemy was killed instantly with no drawback. They were far too powerful for this entity to be harm to them. And with that, with a smile on their face and their mission done, they leave the abyss and reset the cycle. That is the first page. Oh. I continue reading. Uh, what, you want me to go through all 999? <laughs> All right, hang on. Bad. You got all hundred uh, uh, nine hundred ninety nine. So, uh, well, a lot of them are uh, are repeats of each other in a way. A lot of them are basically the same thing. You make friends and all that. Uh, sometimes they deviate and change. Uh, for example, for iteration number two, the one directly after the first one, it simply goes. <clears throat> The heroes of the journey once again find themselves in the abyss. Their memory is gone and their power reset. They wake up from their death from before, their pact still glowing upon their bodies, and they begin to go down. However, they kill the first layer's boss, the one who governs over the floor of the library. It seemed that the one was way too hungry to usually live. And of course, then, on the second floor, they made friends once again, being given the gift. And then, on the third floor, they meet their doom by the one of the name of Rook. They began to insult Rook, and he took it personally. So he ended up Murder no. Oh. Any other irregular uh, regularities? Different uh, character showing up. Me showing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hang on one second. Do 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 do. Skill would be personally interested to see if Skill has ever shown up before. Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, out of all these, uh, uh, <clears throat> well, as you begin to read each one, uh, again, they seem just to be repeats, but around, um, the 260, uh, there is another deviation. Uh, one where, uh, someone appears in the story that, uh, hasn't appeared before. Someone by the name of Bells. Basically, uh out of all the iterations, uh, this is the first time for them to appear, as they seem to have met uh, on the sixth layer, the one where, well, or they met in a spider's pit when they had fallen down. Bells had been pretty friendly, they had invited them to join them and such, however, the rest of you didn't agree with her and thought she was suspicious, so... You killed it. Oh. Uh, then the story continues as usual. Uh, from then on, after 260, uh, Bells appears in every iteration from then on. <clears throat> uh, Noted. Then, of course, when we get to about iteration 600, once again, there is another deviation. Froggy chair. Uh... <clears throat> 
In the 600 deviation, Proggy Chair finally uh, appears in the very first layer. Every time someone else has always sat on it and always took it with them with a weird sort of need of sorts. And every time when it was about to the sixth layer, suddenly, <clears throat> no, not six, uh, the, hang on, just do math. Uh, yeah, fifth layer. Every time it is the fifth layer, Froggy Chair disappears. Uh, no matter even if you're holding it or even if you're just looking at it, it just disappears as soon as it's out of your line of sight. Uh, <clears throat> and that has happened to every single iteration all the way up to 930. Where, uh, upon reading 931, the pages are blank. And so is the rest all the way up to 99. 999. Desperately writing this down. Hmm. Uh, you said around iteration six hundred. Uh, uh, iteration six hundred is when Froggy pe uh, Chair appears. Yes. However, Frog Chair has always disappeared on the fifth floor, the fifth lane. Uh. Did they disappear this iteration? This time around? You're on the seventh layer and still here. Huh. And uh when you get to uh iteration 931, uh it is blank and so is the rest of the pages. Uh, 930 is the last iteration where, <clears throat> uh, basically, uh, 930 is a deviation that is completely different from the rest, to be honest. The reason is... Um, 930 mm, what? 930. 930 first? Okay. Uh, the, because, unlike all the rest of the iterations, uh, this iteration... It seems that the characters within the story, they remember every iteration before them. Oh. Well, basically... <clears throat> As the heroes wake up from their death of their pact and with the pact upon their body, they all simply gaze upon one another with a sort of knowing look. As each of them will simply begin to question about these memories that they gained. Ones of different times, different places, different actions that they all casted upon themselves. Each one begins to fill their minds in a sort of state where they begin to live many. 929 lives just go over in their mind. Some where they are killed, some where they are... where they have won and others where they have given up. Each one of them, they remember. It doesn't seem to overflow their mind, as it's almost like a dream in a way. However, they knew instantly that something was up. So, they decided to deviate from their task, from their goal. Instead of collecting and going down into the abyss, they instead found the way up. What was at the first layer, or the minus one, as they would call it. Upon climbing and finding the way through by simply breaking through the abyss, or gate, they found themselves in a place, an eternal forest of sorts, one governed by an entity, one governed by a mother. They began to walk through the forest. They began to walk further and further in, where they had met the bug-like mother, the one who simply stared at them with a confused look. She repeated that this wasn't meant to happen. This isn't part of it. This isn't part of the cycle. And that they should return back. They should continue on. But their memories are guiding them. The heroes 
did not comply. For they had found, of course, that this was heresy in a way, being repeated in an eternal cycle of death and reincarnation. Instead, they drew their blades upon the mother and began to fight. However, they were not able to exactly beat them. Their memories may have returned, but not their experience, not their fights, not their levels. With this, they were struck down one by one, too powerless to face against a high-end entity such as herself. Thus, Dead Man had simply taken out his hand towards this mother, had asked them to simply allow them to continue the cycle, a way to win in his fort, in his mind. And so, with this deal complied, he was now given flight. A mother's cool, you could say. And with that, the memories of the heroes once again settle. They begin to disappear as the cycle continues. However, a crack is formed. But they become chosen. And that's the end. I imagine I was, like, reading allowed for Lynn, and yeah. so every time the characters have always been the same in the story, correct? <clears throat> uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, just occasionally actions are different. Okay. Yes. Sometimes they beat it, sometimes they die, sometimes you give up and just whittle away, and things like that. But, uh, the entire time you haven't been there, Stella. Entire time I haven't been there. Somehow time loops, uh, time loops are able to deviate. Occasionally, time loop fucks up. Okay. And uh, this 930 iteration was the only time when uh, all of you remembered the uh, iterations. <clears throat> so it feels like this is a pretty sick experiment. Someone's yeah. actually changing. We... I was yeah, going to say that as well. Yeah. Huh. Oh, for fuck's sake, so I haven't been actually dying. Uh. <laughs> I mean, technically, you have. They're just ignoring your DNRRRRRRR. Yes, I suppose that's another one to add, as they start carving into their skin. <laughs> right. Uh, on the tombs with, like, iteration 1, 2, and 3, are there, like, notable different designs on them, or...? Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, <clears throat> on iteration 1, uh... Basically, as you peer towards the coffins now, the inscription, uh, like, basically, it looks like this with the statue. However, what you see is that it seems to be, uh, <clears throat> one of Lin. Uh, the one over here is Toto. <clears throat> and, uh, the one over here, uh, seems to be Dean. Mini Dean. Uh, young Dean. <laughs> Okay, old Dean. Yeah, in all those iterations, uh, Dean hasn't been a fucking agent. Uh... <laughs> <Nope. laughs> this is the one where we fuck up the timeline. Hopefully. So they've only brought one of us back every time. Hmm. She's gonna open up the the coffin of hers. Alright, make me an athletics check. That's a tap. Athletics? Me? Yeah. 
me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, it is I ready. Assist. Okay. I assist. assist. We roll. <laughs> Would you consider it grave robbing if it's your own grave? I'm looking away. I'm looking away. I'm looking away. <laughs> okay, but it's her own grave. I'm looking away. <laughs> Toto sees a wall. Uh -huh. no window. Oh, there's no window for the. Wall. <laughs> All right, never mind. You can't look for a window. He's <laughs> blind. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like a like a bar like you know the iron bar window type of thing you know maybe i fucking <laughs> i fucking tap on the wall in morse code hey <laughs> grave get over here <laughs> my I god i walk outside eldritch blasts the window a couple times <laughs> you don't even know he's there <laughs> <laughs> all right with a 17 you're able to uh pick up the grave as uh as you manage to push it off, uh, on the inside of it, you find... One second. <clears throat> Two, three. Alright. None of them are the funny, so... Okay! <clears throat> that was. So, as you begin to open up the grave, there are, in fact, three items inside of them. Uh, what um, Scylla can tell, because they've read the Iteration 1 along with this, is that these three items are the items that were given to uh, your party from these, uh, from the Lords. Uh, specifically, number one is uh, the King, the very first one that you found, uh, first against. Uh... <clears throat> Then, of course, uh, hang on, who the fuck was your second one again? Rook. Every time we faced one of these guys, we've always tried to kill them, right? And then, of course, uh, and after Rook, it was night. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Uh, basically, what you find is uh, one item seems to be a a black sword, uh, specifically a black long sword. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> the other one then, the 93 for the rook, uh, is... Braces. And finally, from knight... Uh, is a syringe with a red liquid inside. Huh. So now what did you mean? This cycle? Uh, uh yeah. Because mm, somehow no. in the first iteration, we were friendly with all of them. Yes, we were contracted by them. I believe we were told that from Dean and his visions. Um, the would the pamphlet tell us whether <clears throat> like what, what they those are. items were capable? Yeah. Yes, they would. All right. <clears throat> A blank longsword, the sword of a king. When a creature is slashed by the sword. If the if the attack was uh, critical in a way, aka uh, I could just say the effect. So uh, when it scores a critical hit, uh, the creature is a hit undergoes the effects of the command spell. Hmm. Oh, pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> the braces also known as the Braces of the Forgotten King. <clears throat> How these ones work is that when you wear the Braces, you have a plus three to your unarmed strikes. Uh, in addition, when you score a critical hit, uh, <clears throat> you may expend a key point to do stunning strike. Uh, well, you may expend... Uh, yeah, you may do stunning strike without a key point 
uh, even if you're not a monk. And then the final one, <clears throat> uh, the syringe, uh, also known as the liquid of primal knowledge. Uh, basically, it's a one-time use item that you can inject yourself with as an action. Uh, upon doing it, for the next minute, you become an abyssal being. Oh, oh shit. Uh, basically, you gain the power of an abyssal lord for a minute. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. <laughs> um, I will say, depending on who takes the liquid, depends on what things you get. And I do have, like, uh, basically, uh, like, fucking art for each of what you would all look like if you were Abyssal Lord somehow. <clears throat> Excuse me? What? Excuse me? You have uh, art made for what? Oh, no, not like custom art, just no, fucking I, oh, art that I got oh. online. <laughs> Bro, no. Void would uh, be I, I'm not rich. <laughs> Wait, so would much would you money? still show it to us if we didn't choose it? Uh, you want to show us? The liquid is one time use, so all I'll say is that once the liquid is used, then I will show everyone their forms. <laughs> okay. Guys, we gotta find the next fucking boss. Juiced up Toto. <laughs> Come on. Uh, uh, which one's my grave again? It's the one up top, right? Uh, It was iteration three. The bottom one. Oh. Um, so, just text their peef. Or, um. It's not grave robbing if it's your own grave. Scylla, yeah, Scylla just told me everything. Froggy chair just moved on its own. Oh, do 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 do. Okay, this. Mm. Should I? <laughs> should I open mine then? Not grave robbing if it's your own grave. All right, on a count of three. One, two. <laughs> do the athletics checks, baby. Are you, are you, I'm assuming you're assisting, right? I'm assisting. Oh, oh brother. <coughs> oh, brother. Oh, <laughs> oh brother. Lamau. A 12. Uh, a 12 does, in fact, open it. It's a DC 10. Uh, <clears throat> oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so as, uh, as you manage to open it, uh, you find... Did you do a second? Okay. That's a high roll. What the fuck? Why do I get a D a thousand? What no, not a thousand. Fuck? It's but one, two, three. There we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's still, one of those is still pretty high. Oh, still ninety Ooh. Pain on one of those and two thirty. Uh, as but you to be open fair, up, we had a ninety five last time. Yeah. Two. Oh no. <laughs> two nat ones in a row, baby. <laughs> What? Okay, okay. Let's go! What, what if I use my... Can I use my birthday 20 on that? Uh, what, what, what the fuck do you mean? I'm <laughs> oh, Don't God. you fucking dare, <laughs> don't! I was joking, I was joking, I am joking. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Well, uh... What if, you know, as what you if? open up this one, uh, as it seems to be iteration-free, uh, these ones that you find are managing to, of course, link it up with the iteration-freeze ones. Uh, these are items that you had found along the way. Parts where you had basically found underneath, hidden beneath floors and such. Uh, <clears throat> where, basically, what you find is this. So. A set of weaver's tools. Uh, however, it's weird because what they seem to be made of is a black metal that seems to be unidentifiable. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> weavers? Doesn't someone else have weavers tools here? No. Uh, masons tools, I believe. Masons tools, but they can be any tool they want. Uh, that I don't know. Yeah, now all I can think of is Shoto with the uh, fucking Mason's tools that can break anything. The second one is, of course, a glowing yellow carrot that, when it consumed, comes back into your hand. Oh. What the fuck? And, uh, finally, 
we did it. Wait, why the fuck is my mantle also? There we go. <clears throat> that has dead man or so written all over it. Actually, I guess dead man. <laughs> what? Of a uh, yellow carrot? <laughs> oh, look, look. It's just... It's food that can never... Yeah, like... It, 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 it's food. food. Fair enough, so, fair enough. Yeah, the, the glowing red. yellow carrot was so uh, dead man wouldn't eat all the ration. <laughs> <laughs> of fucking course. Uh... The weavers, what do those look like? Weaver soul. I spelled that wrong, but did. There we go. Uh, and finally, a black book that has the inscription Zalathal etched onto it. Zalathal. Okay, the last time we touched a book, we were all going to die. So. I don't any, of us, touch it. any of us know what Zalathal is? Can we get a history check on that? Yeah, a history <laughs> check on that shit. Yes, you can do a history check. Because I feel like I should know what that is. But uh, you I should. Don't know if shit. Yeah. Do I get advantage? Like, no, I mean, like, uh, as oh, Oak, as you should. Me, yeah. Yeah, me as Oak. Because it was in regret. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's I, I know am. everything, motherfucker. <laughs> My yeah, mouth. But I, I, I remember, we read his book or something, right? Uh, you came oh, across no. it, but you didn't oh. read it. Uh, Zalafar was the motherfucker that almost enslaved me, right? Huh? Wait, why the hell is my history check so oh, high? Wait, no, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, Wait, no, actually, how is prof? it so high? You might have huh? plus two and prof. plus three prof. Yeah. I have proficiency in history? When did I choose that? Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> What the fuck? There we go. Oh shit, I did! Yeah. Told me bad that he's smart. <laughs> no, right. just, I did not remember get, picking up history <laughs> as a proficiency. I'm gonna so be real. Uh, as for uh, you, Scylla, as basically you begin to read it, uh, <clears throat> what you end up finding, uh, well, remembering that the name Zalafel has a, a, a pretty known meaning, uh, it's like one of those. Um, uh, it's the same sort of like well knownness as, for example, like Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. Like it's a fairy tale. Uh, however, it's a fairy tale based on a real person. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, Zalathiel, uh, also known as Zalathiel, uh, was a really well known researcher. Specifically, he uh, enjoyed researching a lot of um, ancient books and knowledge of that time. Uh, he was obsessed with the first generation before the gods existed and back when the world was being created. <clears throat> it is said that Zalafau ended up finding a very big secret. Uh, something that could quite literally change how uh, time works and how we view our present now. After he had uh, basically found this secret out, <clears throat> he disappeared. Apparently, uh, a lot of people um, uh, guess that he must have fell into the Akatsuki Records, a, uh, a place where all knowledge is stored, while others say that he died uh, and disappeared from that. Sounds like a Brosco moment. Um, okay. So, pamphlet doesn't tell us any special properties of said book. Uh, all it said is that they picked up the book, but they never read it, read it because, um, they have a weird feeling every time they tried to open it. I Did it describe what that weird feeling was? Did they hear a, eh, every time no, <laughs> they fucking it was, touched it? Uh, it was a feeling of their body that basically, if they opened the book, they would never be able to return to their present selves. Ah, uh, the Book of Disassociation, I see. Uh, as for the other one, a set of weaver's tools. Basically, when you use the weaver's tools to fix or repair uh, some cloth, the cloth becomes magical and gains uh, the light property. AKA, uh, it, it ha almost like the light canter on that cloth. Hey, dead man, do you want to get RGB lights? Uh, I don't really want to... I, I really don't want to, like, loot a coffin. It it's kind of against my thing. 
Uh huh. Yeah. Want, uh, respectable, I guess. Yeah, respectable. Uh, Lynn's just gonna grab this stuff from her car. <laughs> yeah. As for the, uh, as for the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the carrot. Oh. <laughs> as for the, um, <laughs> as for, of course, the, oh god, I got raided. <laughs> it's the, uh, oh, they got raided again. <laughs> hey, uh, hello, raiders. Hello, raiders. Hello, raiders. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. We're currently Grave Robin. It's our own grave. It's fine. Wow. It's, but, uh... Just us, it's consensual. <laughs> but yes, when you had basically it. consumed the carrot, uh, it somewhat makes you more protected than usual. AKA, uh, its effects, uh, if you eat the carrot, uh, you gain the effects of Bless for one minute. I'm eating- I'm grabbing that fucking carrot right now. Okay. Eat that carrot. Okay. Uh, Dean, you mind if I have this? At this point, go for it. Hey, thanks, Doc. I'm munching anyway. on that shit like I'm Bugs Bunny. And anyway, I kick off my grave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I kick my grave. I should open up your grave, alright? Link's <laughs> not just stepping back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not for that reason. <laughs> I'm saying. Thirteen. You know, oh it'd be so easy to just lock this door and set the building on fire. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, let, me, let me find out here something. Inside this one. Uh, so the items within the iteration two, as you begin to look at the three items in there, uh, these ones are actually linked to ones that you had brought from the outside into the abyss every time you went to the tavern. <clears throat> uh... The ones that you find is this. Uh. Uh. Oh. What? What the fuck? Uh, Silla? <laughs> what the let me, fuck? Let me read this. <laughs> I'm looking through the pamphlet. How did we get this? Uh, none of them are explained oh. because the pamphlet only mentions what happens inside of the abyss, on our side. I really hope. What kind of armor is it? Is it like a light, heavy? <laughs> it is uh, studded leather armor. Oh, hi. Hey there. Uh, hello. I can wear light armor. <laughs> Wait. Quick question on the bracers, uh, Void. Mm -hmm. So unarmed strikes, does that count with like natural weapons? Like claws? Uh, huh? Yeah, yes. like claws or biting. Mm -hmm. Ah, I could use that. No, my body, my loot. No, no, that's a. Uh, uh, that was in Lin's tomb. No, 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 he just said that. Um, I know, I know for a fact. Do I know Vilcaris? Isn't is that okay. Vilcaris was the robot? Was the guild master. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, guild master. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. The guild master we saved, remember? Who was Saris again? The forge Sarah? lady. Ah, uh, okay. Do, do these armors look like what we remember? Or, like, do these items look like something we'd remember seeing on Lucius and Volcaris in particular? Because I don't think we've no. seen the amulet. What if we did? They are. They look different. They, they didn't have anything like this. So. I really hope... This doesn't imply what I think it's implying. Oh, that we attacked the tavern? Most likely we were with them. Well, with the Abyssal Lords. Or they died with uh, 
Also, uh, the Forge names person is Salia, not up. Sarah. Uh, Sarah ah. is someone else. Oh, okay. Sarah is the god of reincarnation. Uh, uh, there we go. Gibbs here. Okay, so... See, it just sounded similar to my, like, the alt personality of Louis, so, like, I get anything with, like, S-E and then something else confused of that one. <laughs> ah, yes. What kind of blade is it? Uh, which one? The, that one? <clears throat> it is a great sword. What the fuck? Do you have, like, it references is, for these? It is a rusty greatsword. Hang on, let me go get the reference for the greatsword. Oh, and for the armor, if you have it. Because Lucius is a construct, isn't he? <laughs> Lucius? Well, Karis is. Lucius is very much not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if he used his Nistral's magic aura, then yeah, he's a construct. <laughs> no, Lucius looks like a piece of shit. I know Volcaris wow. looks like God, a construct, damn. so I mean... Wow. So I'm interested in the spoiler channel. Here you go. Armor. This is the greatsword. It's the glass greatsword? <laughs> yes, it's the glass greatsword from Oblivion. <laughs> or it's Skyrim. Oblivion? Skyrim. Uh, get your game. Lamel. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting it. Because I think I'm wearing leather studded right now, which gives me 21 AC. Because it's a plus uh, one, I think. Now, what are the effects of these items? Uh, you have no know? idea. They're not, yeah. They're, they're not listed out damn in the it. thingy. God hey, damn it. Uh, F, or not, uh, Lin. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, God. We have some items that aren't Here you on go. the pants list. You know? <laughs> so... Wanting me to identify them. It might be. Seems like they are belongings of people we've known. As the armor. Yes. Why else would anyone come up to me and ask anything? We ask you for other things. Mainly to keep us in check. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Just give me. You might okay, be interested hope... in one of the amulets. Or in the amulet, of course. Okay, I hope you realize I fully oh, imagine Dean is doing like the two finger thingy. Like, can oh. you please? All right, then. Just because I'm We're willing to give you the studded, the studded armor, doesn't mean I'm willing to give my other shit. Give me some of yours too, then instead. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you have out of the options the book and the weaver's tools right now. I mean, you want to add to your repertoire of tools? You can take the weaver's tools to add to your thing. You know what? I'll take the Weaver's tool. Give me. I mean, give if, me. if you want the other one too, you can take that. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not touching any book. <laughs> oh, right. You can't read. My bad, dude. Oh, no. I can read. I just don't like what's gonna happen after I, I read it. <clears throat> yeah, fair enough. I imagine Is Dean's the book doing it with both sets of arms. Because remember, I have two sets of arms. So he's just doing the. Anyway. <laughs> the bigger point. And see you. Uh. Walks up here, run along quickly. Shows the shows the so stuff. So I guess I'll just stand by the crate or the coffin and um wait as our sweet mother uh, <laughs> identifies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why is that? uh? What do we identify Why? first? Um, up to you. I mean, you're casting. I mean, if we're doing ritual casting. Yep, I'm gonna ritual cast them because <laughs> that's a lot of spell slots. Spell slots, and we don't know when we're getting in a long rest. Now. Yeah, it's not like yeah, it's... it's not like we're actually. Wait, are we effectively level rush, ten yet? Right? No, right? Yeah, we are. I thought we were. Yeah, you are. We didn't roll mm -hmm. HP or anything, so we haven't. Oh, uh, right. We... I... We don't we only roll yet? HP after we long rest? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. But we've uh, we are effectively level ten. <laughs> Wait, oh, my stats aren't adjusted. Hold on. I'm gonna check the armor first. Fine. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> After 10 minutes of identify and uh, dead man looking about, making sure everything's fine. Uh, alright. As uh, as you managed to do. Uh, 
Uh, so you can mass identify all of them anyway, so uh, here we go. Mm. Okay, cool. So. Mm. Right. It is known as Studded Lever of Repose. Uh, <clears throat> it is a uh, it's good one. Uh, plus one Studded Lever armor. And um, basically, if you should be attacked or hit uh, by a creature, you can use your reaction to attack back. Oh. So if we're that's, uh, Yeah, that's big for you, because your sneak attack can uh, proc on other people's turns. Because mm -hmm, it's like yeah. once per turn, not once per end. Yeah. Yeah. And it gives like 14 AC plus your dex. 14 AC and my dex is currently maxed out. Plus 5. That's 19. So 19. How do I have... Wait, and plus one on top of that, right? Because. Alright, well, on... standard lever gives you 13 AC anyway, so. <clears throat> uh, plus one would Wait, make it 14. How do I have 21 then? I have no idea. Because I have studded leather right now as well. Uh, didn't you already, like, armor thingy? You got, like, a plus two AC to your armor or something? Yeah, I had a plus two, I think. That would only give me 20. Oh no, I did plus. Like plus three because I had the money for it. Yeah. So <laughs> I'd be giving up a lot of AC boys. I mean DPS. Yeah, DPS is important. That would be good for me as well. Um, can anyone else wear light armor? Oh, I believe I'm able. To... Hold on, let me check. Yeah. Warlocks. I, I, if you're interested. If I can more level Karis's armor, I I think I might be able to give you mine. I believe it's Fuck plus dex. three. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> dex. What? <laughs> oh. That's what? a true roguey response right there. Oh wait, do I have profesh? Do I have prof um? Uh, also, warlocks get proficiency in light armor, so you can wear. Ah, uh, lovely. You got found with a leather jacket. Um, extra AC on it or no? For, like, oh well, yeah, I can give it to you. I'm game. So, I guess I'll be giving my plus three AC, plus three leather studded to Scylla. A. And then I'll, I'll don the armor of Volcaris. Uh, there's an armor macro um, <clears throat> that everyone can click. Uh, you can just add bonuses and stuff. Okay. Armor is a plus one and... Wait, plus three? Yes, yeah. plus three. Okay. So my AC should be now 19. Yep, and then so my armor macro, just I take down two, right? Cause I have a Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell uh, or, yeah! Basically, you can click the armor type macro, then click studded lever, then add any like bonuses that your armor has, and that's what it. What the fuck? Where? Oh, armor type. Studded lever. What the fuck? Why do I have 21? <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I can't remember. It's a plus one, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a plus one. So, how come I only have 18? What the fuck? Uh, set of leathers 2 plus 1, 13 plus 5. Yeah, you should have. Uh... Yeah, I'm just making sure if it's uh, 13 or not. Uh, oh no, studded leather is uh, 12 plus dex, so it'll be 13 plus your dex. That's it. I, I was thinking big jump. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I only have, um, I okay. only have uh, 18 then. Ooh, 18 AC. But now, if you... I get the bracers, I could theoretically go into melee combat. <laughs> The mouth. <clears throat> oh yeah, in your in your big body range. Uh, yeah, because I currently have the vampire feature for Lost Warlock, so I can like drain tank. All right. As for the uh, the other two, so uh, Lucius's rusted greatsword. Uh, it isn't the sword that he uses. Uh, however, what it seems to be is a it's a pretty big sword. However, it's uh, very rusted. Specifically, the ice seems to have uh, rusted itself, weirdly enough. 
Uh, it doesn't state that's rusted in the uh, pamphlet thingy when it describes the look of it. Uh, so it's probably new. All right. <clears throat> As uh, what you find is uh, this. All right. <clears throat> No, he has to type this. This is going to be bad. <laughs> All right, here you go. Uh, rusted greatsword of creation and destruction. What the fuck? That's <clears throat> my... <laughs> That's huh? my whole fucking rock. The mouth. Uh, so, uh, the rusted greatsword of creation and destruction. Uh, if the sword should roll a natural one, the item will break. Oh, because it's rusted. Uh, however... If this uh, sword should do a critical hit against a creature, uh, you may polymorph that creature into a mundane item. What the fuck? Uh, Is then, that a red gem on it, by the way? Uh, no. Uh, then, the, the secondary effect is that uh, if you should make a critical hit against an object or a structure, uh, you could choose to destroy it. So it's a gamba. Hmm. Uh, All right, got it typed. Yes. Right, let me copy down my. Basically, if you have like multi attack, you could literally turn something into an item, and if you crit again, uh, they're dead. <laughs> yep. Hey guys, you want to go uh, fight them under the mist now? <laughs> uh huh. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wait, so it says specifically if you crit, correct? Yes. Yeah. However, if you doesn't score a specify... natural one. No, no. So it doesn't specify that we need to hit a nat 20. Mm -hmm. so if we get our hands on a champion fighter. <laughs> uh huh. Ex Waves. <laughs> Looks at. Exactly. Oh no. The, the issue is, though, if you roll in uh, a wad, the item breaks as well. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but it'd be very funny if we cheese the final boss. So, so no. imagine you smack something and fucking <laughs> you roll a natural oh, yeah, one, yeah. the item just fucking shatters in your hand. Well, also, is, can you, well, you could, pol we could uh, theoretically polymorph the the fucking not the dreadnought. Uh, I was about to say, <laughs> if a creature has legendary actions, uh, then instead of polymorphing, it does a uh, ten d ten radiant damage. Oh. oh, that actually is still pretty good. To be fair, I could also rewind time and return the sword to back to what it was before. Hmm. By 24 yeah, hours, yeah. Like, oh, by 24 hours, so we exactly. can't rest it right now. Hmm? <laughs> no, she, she just gotta make all the rolls like a bunch of times in a row and just, you know, 24 Oof. hours over. Oof. <laughs> That's a lot of charisma. Surely there, buddy. you won't kill yourself oh. by then. Still we gotta remember also. Fail a save once a session. <laughs> yeah, we gotta remember that boy can just make me fail a save. <laughs> All right, just because. Because demons. Oh, demon, your stats. Oh no! Oh, that's a really bad thing for you. I just <laughs> said, "Nah, you reviving someone?" <laughs> uh, uh, yep. Nope. That person's dead. No, they get revived. It's just I'm fucked. Oh yeah, cause you're saved. Yeah, cause oh, the okay. effect goes through. It's just that then I get fucked. Mhm. Mm well, you just be feeble-minded. Well, worse. It's. We'll have to find out. Yeah. Uh. I um, don't want to find out. Also, do so, you have the, the notes for Volcaris and armor? I, I will post it when we're done. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> Just so I need it. So I want to uh, that and the final one is Sarah's Amida of Reincarnation. All right. <clears throat> oh, right. Uh, we have this one, a god yes. amulet. This is a uh, known as a divine uh, item. And basically what it is is that it's empowered by uh, the god itself. Uh, so a divine item. Uh, what it means is that it is indestructible. Og, so it can never be destroyed unless the god is dead. <clears throat> uh, how it works, though, is uh, a person may attune to this amulet. While attuned, 
uh, if the creature should ever be reduced to zero hit points and die, uh, the amulet's uh, the amulet's crystal will shatter. There are two crystals in the amulet. <clears throat> Uh, one of which is red, and the other is... Let me check my notes. Where are you? Here it is. One is a purple gem, and the other is red. Uh, when you're basically killed, you may choose either red or purple. If you choose red, you come back at half HP. Oh. Uh, if you choose purple... The person who uh, killed you have their max HP reduced by half. Uh, once oh. you have used one of these gems, they do not come back. So it's like a martyr type of thing? Hmm. Final fuck you. Yes. Once both gems are, uh, are gone, the amulet becomes mundane. We we got we still gotta find whatever. Um, we, we gotta you know do the thing here. We can't stay here all the whole time. Yeah, no, there's still another grave. <laughs> what? There is. Where? Which one have you get? Which one haven't you? And some mausoleum all the way to the south. Mm -hmm. Yup. That big one right there. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, I'll follow you guys there. It be the syringe. This <laughs> Toto oh, wants to get juiced up so I th bad. I, th I, th I think, I mean, I don't mind giving, letting Toto take the syringe. After it's yours, so it's your thoughts. You're going to need to ask Lynn about that, buddy. <laughs> we'll never see Toto run this fast. Watch as he just teleports all the way over here. <laughs> he just. <laughs> Lin, give me the syringe, Lin. Lin, give me the syringe. He's just running across the graveyard, <laughs> yelling it. It's the big, it's the fucking yeah, it video is. of Arnold Schwarzenegger running. Yeah, definitely, chapter. Give me the syringe. Yeah. Yes, yes, I heard you yelling. Joe. Put her hand in the the floating uh, <laughs> bag of holding and just not even look at it. And just hands him the syringe. <laughs> oh, they have the syringe. You know what? I I want to show it. This is what happens if Lynn uh, if Lynn took the syringe. <laughs> this is what they look like. I put it on this one channel. Hey yo. Hey, yo. Oh, is that from Ori? Wait, that's uh -huh. sick. Wait, what about everybody except for Toto? Because we won't see it until Toto takes it. Oh, I... Uh... I'll show one oh, more. I... Hang on, let me, uh, let me just roll. Into a Hydra, but with seven uh -huh. froggy chairs. I'll, I'll go down from VC. <laughs> so one, two, three... F two, three... Okay, four. <clears throat> Alright, time to show Dean. <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. I won the lottery. Uh, Just he's mega the gnome. gnome. You've been gnomed. <laughs> You've been gnomed. <laughs> oh no. Equivalent exchange. The amulet. Oh yeah, huh? I guess the amulet was was in Toto's grave. We didn't check Just... dead man's, <clears throat> did we? Uh, uh, there was no dead man grave. Oh, it was just the yeah. incarnation, the in particular. Incarnation yeah, it was just one. iteration one, two, and three with uh, certain people. I'm assuming this is three and four, or four and five. <clears throat> dead man's in the middle. Maybe. Lamal. <laughs> uh, as for you, do, 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 there is. Oh yeah, uh, Carp. Did you want the bracelet? The, the bracelet. I mean, I'm getting oh. holy shit. Oh. That's Dean. Yes. It, it was the whole black arms, wasn't it? Bro, nice dress. Black skeletal arms. <laughs> yeah, I'm the best. No, I mean, he's rocking it, so. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Homeboy is rocking a dress and crown. That's actually sick as hell. Uh, I I had one for Lynn just in case they ever kept their rose, but uh, now that the rose is gone, they uh <laughs> they don't get the funny tree because this was Lynn if they kept their rose. Uh, hang on, it's 15 yeah. megalites. Uh, to turn into a world eater. 
Can you tell, like, explain why I got this one real quick? Why? Uh, yeah, like... I mean, that that's what ancient domes look like. Huh? Hmm? I'm sorry, what? Oh, the world that, eater. That's what, uh, that's what, uh, Jeff, uh, Bezos looks like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Jeff Bezos. Yeah, that's uh, that's the elf, uh, the gnome like owner people. You know, like the big, the big like fucking ancient gnome that governs over all the other gnomes. That that's what they look like. What the not bald fuck? enough. I'm just gonna say that right now. Not bald enough. Needs more egg. Yeah. Uh, and the last one that I posted is this little in kept the bunny flower. It basically would have bloomed out of their head. Oh yeah, That's Maffy. Mean. Maffy, you get now yep. the amulet. Uh, they'll and exchange the that. And I guess it like takes the bracers. Will you be putting? Do I need to attune to the armor, by the way, or is it just like is that auto? Yeah, we attuning. Is or is yeah, it auto? You can move the bracers. Well, attunement is long rest. Yeah, I know, but like, do well, we need to attune you, to these items? Yeah, you spend an hour of concentration. That's what a uh, attuning is. So you could spend an hour concentrating with attuning with it, and yes, they are all attuned. Uh, including okay. the carrot. Uh, not the carrot. Uh, I just meant the items that you got from the outside. Oh, okay. okay. So the carrot itself is fine, but carrot is fine. Bracers, I yes. need to attune. The, the carrot's effect is basically, much... you eat it, it gives you bless for a minute, and then you don't gain its effects until the next eight hours. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. One purpose. You have, you have to fully digest it, yeah. Oh, I mean, I have attunement slots open anyway. Hey. Okay. My... Uh, while you're doing that, as you approach this door, uh, what you find is that uh, on the front of it, it says in funny words, as Dead Man will translate for you all as they go. <clears throat> well, uh, this one says that, um. Huh. Apparently, this is the room of reincarnation. I don't know what that means. But hey, it means it's Vera! <laughs> it opens the door! <laughs> Steps to the side immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nothing happened. No traps. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. I am reading the book. Well, I mean, there's painted on the wall that you walk on in. That will be the first thing to notice. There's uh, uh, <clears throat> they are paintings of what seem to be people that you don't really uh recognize. Uh, one of them seems to be a blonde man who uh has a very um sort of a uh, muscular build to him uh as he seems to be sitting in a uh uh nobleman clothes uh, hmm. another one seems to be hmm? no go ahead go ahead i'll, I'll wait till you're to finish descriptions yeah yes anything uh the other one seems of course to be uh, a black-haired woman as uh she seems very old as she has like wrinkles on her face and such as a uh, She's sitting down in one of the positions where, like, her legs are crossed with her hands on her knees, sort of thing. Uh, <clears throat> another one will basically show that there is a, uh, what seems to be a one-eyed cyclops person who seems to just be standing there with a sword as his hand raised to the sky. Uh, <clears throat> another one seems to be, uh, huh, twins. Uh, specifically, what you can see is that there are two twins who have, a. Uh, an umbilical cord that are still linked to each other. Uh, stomach to stomach. Uh, they seem to be holding each other's hands in a sort of, uh, like, motion where, like, they're holding each other. And, uh, in the middle one here, <clears throat> uh, what you find is, of course, is... Uh, well, specifically for Toto, uh, what they will see, Lamau, is, uh... <clears throat> Is a floating uh pancake, uh, you know, waffles. Hot. Hot. Uh, <clears throat> as basically they will see waffles along with Toto, who is sitting on a uh, chair in a tuxedo. Move, 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 move. Get the fuck out of here. 
Oh, <laughs> um, my question was gonna be: Do I recognize any of them from like the flashback that the lava child gave me? Nope. Uh, right. uh... <laughs> fucking Toto in a tuxedo, but it can barely fit him. I love that Get. mental image. Okay, <laughs> is there a? A geeky Google guy. A geeky Google guy. It's totally just I trying do. to remember this. Uh, I think. You don't remember that. You've never really worn a tuxedo. <laughs> Total's married? Me read book on table. I want to know <clears throat> what the fuck. Alright. Uh, there is a funny book on a table as, uh, it seems to be closed and on the very front of it says this. <clears throat> uh, as it says, Records of the Chromatic Generals. Can I make a history check to know what the hell the Chromatic Generals are? Uh, is that yes or? I, I said yes. sure. I said sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't hear. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I barely know anything. Uh, fourteen's good. <clears throat> uh, with a uh, with a fourteen um history, as you sort of overlook it. The Chromatic Generals are actually very linked with the Fae, uh, to be exact. Specifically, uh, it's very similar to what's known, uh, used to be known as the Chromatic Court. Uh, as there is the Green Queen, there were a lot of others as well. The, the Red Queen, the Blue Queen, uh, known as the Chromatic Court. Uh, however, uh, the disappearance of all the other queens besides the Green Queen has basically shattered this uh, court in a way. The Chromatic Generals were basically people who, um, they were the overseers of the Chromatic Court. Uh, they served the, uh, the queens, basically. Uh, <clears throat> so, for example, the Green Queen, uh, he would have a general and so forth and things like that. Hmm. Uh, however, because of the shattered, uh, court, uh, while well, the chromatic court began and shattered due to the green queen's dis while well, the queen's disappearing, the court ended up just becoming noblemen's of the fae. Uh, that eventually disappeared. <laughs> hmm. Any of us got a connection to the chromatic generals? <laughs> Looks at the guy who has a painting of himself on the wall. Do I? I'm not sure. Like, he has been s everywhere. Uh, uh has been everywhere. Right, man? Is everything okay, buddy? Waffles was from the face. Alright. Can I make a history check on myself? Just to see. Uh, sure. Make a history check. Uh, this is not gonna work, but... Yeah, I can. Thirteen. Hmm. With a fourteen history in total. Uh, one thing that you can technically remember over the years of just being, uh, uh, disconnected in a way. Uh, <clears throat> what you can find, well, remember specifically is, uh, Waffles' previous occupation. Uh, <laughs> where, uh, Waffles was in fact uh, also a general before uh, before they escaped the Fae. Did the did we? So which jet caller? Uh, they did never the said. Waffles thing? I have that, or you can't remember. Yeah. <sighs> no. <sighs> what were you just saying, Dean? Oi. No, I'm okay. I was just asking if you were alright, buddy. Um. Complicated. 
looks like it. <sighs> it's... It's just hard to play decades, really. But... You were asking... About generals and such. Uh, to be honest, I was just worried about you, but you look really sad. I haven't seen you like that before. She's a sore spot on my history. Knowing her shit since she was a little, little manta. She was my. You consider him family to me. You don't. Yeah. You don't need to keep on talking about it if it hurts, buddy. I get it. I'll feel better. Yeah. I always do. Uh. Dean will give a pat on the back and then kind of just like walk over, check out the others, not like look in, but just look at the graves and kind of get a vibe for each of them. Like looking around them, <laughs> seeing if there's anything special. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be any inscriptions or anything on them. Uh, there isn't even like any pictures or anything on the top like the map shows. It's just a blank piece of stone. Hmm. Yeah. Also, for uh, for Scylla, as you open up the book and read the contents. <clears throat> so, as you read the books, it seems to be a uh, sort of biography of sorts. Uh, maybe more of like a story mixed with a biography. Where it mentions about the seven generals of the Chromatic Court. The Red General, all the way up to the Indigo General. Each one of them are uh, governing towards their queens. However, after their disappearance, the generals were lost, and they didn't know what to do anymore, and their armies had eventually dissipated and disappeared as there was no queen left to control them. So they began to expand out into the Feywild. And of course, the generals eventually given up. They decided to take on their own goals in life. The Red General, for example, uh, simply went back to his life of farming within the Fae. Just a day where he would allow the trees to grow and eventually they would prosper back into new people. The Blue General had become an alcoholic. He had eventually suckled himself into, well, got himself stuck into an eternal cycle of, well, drugs. Each of them have their different stories and different tales, however, all of them converge into one. Where... All of them were somewhat... Given a choice. A woman of sorts with a hooded figure who didn't show their face had reached out her hand towards each of them, giving them an opportunity. That if they have thus lost their queen, and thus they have lost their right of protection. B will give them a new place, a new realm of sorts that will allow them to prosper. Thus, as they followed along through their trails, eventually, all of them had succumbed to the abyss, thus becoming an eternal staple in a protection, in a way. And... These were known as simply... <clears throat> the Red General had become Maralek. The Blue General had become, of course, uh, Jigu Rasa. The twins known as, of course, the Orange Generals had become uh, Muzak Teo Van Luruk and, of course, Fid Dilu. Each of them would be names that all of you will eventually recognize, as all of them seem to be your abyssal packs that you had made. Oh. The abyssal lords that helped you had, uh, had become these entities, the ones who are now trying to free themselves from the abyss. From, of course, the mother of all, the one who made the contract with them. So, oh. who are these people, Scylla? 
So, remember how we all took packs, right? Chaticus, mm -hmm. Braticus, Hi. and good old Jalang. Um, yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's them. They turned in. They turned into them. Corrupted Fang, taken by the abyss. Yep. Apparently, so someone convinced them to come to the abyss, and they turned into those things. So. So does journals, you say? They all came to the abyss. And we're all seems to be contract uh, packed with one. Well, Waffles was a general. She didn't. She hasn't said to me which of this color she was. But could you look? Uh, she is gonna ask. I, I pass in the book. You said you can read, yeah. I. Okay. I'm, I'm opening this one. After hearing yeah. that, I'm opening it. Checking yeah. through the book. We're looking or for waffles. Which would be waffles. <clears throat> so as you begin to look through and such and begin to see them. Uh here we go. <clears throat> as you begin to read through the books and the dynamics of each one, so of course the orange generals are the twins and such. Eventually, you come across what seems to be... <clears throat> do, 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 do. Let me go get my thing. Mm. Right. Eventually, you would come across <clears throat> the one who is known as the Indigo General. Uh, who you would recognize with their physical features. Of course, thus being a creature of food. Uh, a creature, basically, uh, <clears throat> that has the intention to get eaten for the fact that then it can kill someone from the inside, Lamau. <laughs> okay, wow. chuckles. Yes. Well, well, uh, Toto just gives a little chuckle. Uh, that's it. That's her. Uh, as well. However, it doesn't say that the name is Waffles. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't say yes. that. What's the name said on the on the thing? Uh, I am just making sure. Do, 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 do. Uh, <clears throat> Their name was Lumina. Oh no, the name is Lumina. <laughs> I'm, I'm a shack fucker. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, woo. Boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy, yeah. It's Why the not actually Lumina, right? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's Chaticus Bradicus. <laughs> Come and suck, Boku. Uh, I'm just trying to remember because it was all the way back in City of Mist, so I need to go find that. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, well, all the way back then? Yeah, I had a whole thing, but you left, so I couldn't do the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Alive. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna spin. Wait, no, oh, wait. You... I, the Discord has a search function. Why? I'm just using that. Hang on. Yeah, well, that's happening. Just total, total, just reminisce and tells everyone what how how Waffles was at, really, like that, like, has a, a very, oh, weird interest in getting eaten and just committing the most vi, uh, viscerous death, but she just, he just chuckles on that. Like, 
it sounds very he he describes it it sounds horrifying but Toto is just uh, remembering reminiscing on it like it's f a fun memory for her for him um, at least I love like, there meta. Was, well there's this one guy that will try so she tried take, thinking like she's a food and then he ate her her and then he just screamed and screamed and it just like a flat out dead. Uh huh. Uh, also, I found oh, it. She's, <clears throat> she's a beauty. She she is a, she's wonderful. Uh, Arunia, the Indigo General of Wisdom. Okay. Notes. Puts that on. Since he can read now, you can see he pull out, pulls out a small, like, small little notebook, small chart, chart pen, and just writes down. Okay. Good things, things to talk with. Whatever. Why not? Eat her. Okay. Okay. Like. <laughs> oh right. Oh, yes. that's you, so sweet. Yeah, you, like, you read it in your Kermit voice, <clears throat> so it's just. Mm, Arudia, the Indigo General of Wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> That's so eerily good. What the hell? No, yeah. it's me, Kermit. Ah! <laughs> actually, actually, <laughs> actually, yeah, actually, Scylla, since you're there, you can see what is on the front of the page, the front of the cover. Of Kermit and he's talking. No, Kermit is <laughs> this ba band here. You see it's this? Just, uh... It's yeah. a speech bubble, it's a comic. Oh, we just- yeah. I just see you, Kermit. <laughs> oh. No. What's up with mm. the party of frogs? Yeah. Yeah. As you look there, you see on the note- on the cover here, at the- here, on the- when she closes it, it- it tells things- things to talk with when- once you meet- uh, once you meet waffles. It- just not there, as he sits back on his stuff. That's okay. so sad. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you, you can see it's very. It, he uh, is on, almost at the, uh, at the last pages. <laughs> so, you know it's very withered out. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I'm patting this man on the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, this, this is like, this is not the turn I expected this episode to go. It's just like bro, sad. bro, bro. You don't know the depression this man went through after after T uh, Waffles was gone. Like, wait, was he Waffles know... Toto's old flame basically? Much. No, no. To he was like a family to him, like a daughter. Since he, here's the story. He won. The first time Toto met Waffles was when she he was still a pirate. He was at sea. He saw him getting harassed by dolphins, so uh, he didn't know he actually wanted that to happen so that she can fuck them over. But he saved them, and then after that, he took he took him to their crew, and then he packed as a familiar. He packed him as a familiar, since that was his origin, origin uh, trait back when uh, City of Mist. And after that, she basically what became a part of the crew uh and when it got disbanded uh uh waffle stayed with him even though he tried putting him back to the sea so yeah after that she just came with her came with him had they all went to a whole different places and then suddenly after state of miss uh he got a distress call from his goddaughter, which is Muffin Puffins, a Gripply. And after she, he tried saving her, but uh, Waffles just vanish, and he just went depression. First, after that, <laughs> depression mode activates. Uh, also, indeed, as you open up the, uh, as you open up the coffin, uh, you see a body inside. It's not decayed. It it looks oh, almost God. like they're sleeping. But uh, <clears throat> uh, but uh, like, 
you you can tell that they're dead because they're not breathing and like they're cold to the touch. Uh, and they look like this. I'll pull in the channel. Are they like undead? That implies that the man touched the body. <laughs> I did not touch the body, but... Uh, I, I pull what they look like in Solar Channel. Oh god, okay, hold on. Ah, pretty lady. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> it seems to be a black-haired woman. Uh, what you notice is that, uh... She somewhat seems to have, um... Uh, missing, uh, ligament... Well, limbs of sorts that have been replaced with, uh... Sort of, uh... <clears throat> prosthetics of sorts. Uh, specifically, dull prosthetics. What the hell? Okay, Ronnie. Huh? Oh, Ronnie. Huh? What the fuck? Huh? What? <laughs> Elden Ring. Doll. Oh. Oh, Ronnie. Oh, <laughs> Ronnie. Damn. But yeah, okay. uh... In it. This this body seems kind of fresh. Um, not very fresh, but decently enough where it's a little worrying. Like weirdly preserved. Um, yeah, you, why don't you just come over here and take a look? Yeah. And this. Tell me what you think. Holy shit! What is her skincare routine? <laughs> She's made out of plastic. I um, mean. I mean, Wait, is her face like is her face flat like prosthetic or? Uh, no, it's only uh, her uh, arms and legs that are a prosthetic. Gotcha. Oh, I just I, my I assume that she was like pretty much created into another plastic body. That's that's on me for misinterpreting. My fault. I'm assuming the black-haired lady, same black-haired lady as the one I saw in the portrait. Uh, no. <clears throat> no? No. Um, this one is like, oh. oh. Anyone uh, here proficient on medicine or something? Uh, no, 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 uh, uh, I see you. No, 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 it's going behind you. I see you. Uh huh, uh huh. What does, what, what does, uh, medicine use again? Nature? Wisdom. Wisdom. You can medicine check. Yeah, I can take a crack at it. Nope. I can assist. Arcana check to see what kind of magic is preserving uh, her. You can assist me. Yeah, I'm okay. assisting you. In that case, I don't understand shit. God, no. <laughs> can you reroll that? Oh yeah, you can oh, roll. Right. You're unknown. Fucking, I got. Yeah, lucky. Dirty, dirty fucking halfling. Fucking gnome. Hey, there we go. That's better. There we go, baby. Also, we, I guess we gotta write that down. Mr. DM. Mm -hmm. I did. Does the sixteen tell us anything, Mr. DM? Yes. Uh. <clears throat> As basically you take a good old look over them and to uh, uh basically well <clears throat> see how their condition is. Uh they are in fact dead. <laughs> Crazy. But how recently? Uh you don't know because for whatever reason they are just a fresh corpse. It's almost like they died like a minute ago. It's almost like they just died. Uh, this is it's 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 giving me a little bit of a weird feeling. With a uh, sixty, what I can tell you is that some weird fucking uh, there are either two cases that's happening here. Uh, one is either uh, she is not dead, and that in fact something is basically keeping them in like a weird comatose amnated state, or secondary, she is dead, but her time has somewhat just been stopped, either by like a gentle repose or something. Um, can I, I, I'm gonna look at the paintings, does she reflect any of the people in the paintings? She does not. While there was an, uh, another lady with black hair, that lady with black hair is old. 
This could be her younger self. We do have a lot of time shit going on. Um, maybe we should cover this back up for a second and then check out the other ones to see if they're pretty similar. Let's go right. in peace. Um, Dean is gonna try and put the cover back on. Alright, as you slip the cover back on. Okay. <laughs> I'll go ahead and check uh, the surroundings. Okay. Um, Dean is gonna check this one with uh, F Lytics. Right. 18. Zah. Uh, make a good old athletics. You managed to pull it off. Pog. Definitely not looking like not in the eyesight of Death Killer. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch, oh. Froggy Chair disappeared. Yeah. Uh, so, uh -oh. as you begin to basically open it up, uh, this one uh -huh. has uh, <clears throat> what seems to be a, uh, a man in it. Uh, let me go find it again. Okay, there we go. I just have to scroll through my channel. There it is. Uh, because uh, basically it's the same situation where it looks dead and such, but it's uh, but they are very fresh. As you will see this person, they will put it in sport channel. Oh, what the fuck? That's sick. Uh, you see a six-armed person who has, like, horns protruding from the head. They look to be a mix of a demon of sorts. Uh, black hair. Okay. Uh... Dean's gonna, gonna put it back. He has more arms than me, I'm scared. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put the cover back on. Can I- I'm gonna uh, do an investigation to check if there's, like, any seals broken that I saw. Uh, sure, like, you know, Arcana. <clears throat> an Arcana? Yes. 21. Mmm. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any seals of sorts, or even anything that, uh, has been unlocked after you, uh, push it off. Okay. Gotcha. Well. Hey, Dodo. Um, all that's left is the big one in the middle. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you want to be around for that in case of whatever happens, but figured all I'd right. call you over. Uh, you guys just see fucking Skilla patting herself down, trying to figure out where the hell Sproggy chair is. <laughs> oh yeah, Lynn's just laughing. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, because she's gone from my screen. Yeah. Boy, you oh, rat man. bastard. Huh? It's right there. It's right there. I can see it over your left shoulder. It looks like a uh, dog chasing its I... own tail. Can uh, I get a aesthetics? Uh, oh, I rolled are you the looking... athletics oh. on this one as well. Oh, this one? <laughs> yeah. Alright. As you begin to, uh... I rolled an 18 on it. Uh, I'll yeah, take the book. I'll take the book of general, chromatic generals. Mm. Alright. Uh, as you begin to, uh, shift and open it of sorts. Uh, <clears throat> oh boy! Because, uh, as you open it, uh, there doesn't seem to be anything inside of it, uh, but, <clears throat> however, uh, I will oh, also be ended fuck. session here. Uh, alright. That will be ended mm -hmm. session. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm I really glad I'm out of here, guys. I should have checked for traps on this one. Uh, no, it's the, f What's the I, worst that can happen? I, no, I don't, 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 don't say that. <laughs> no, false Hydra. Like... In false Hydra code. Pops again like last time. What do you mean? Yeah. It's just the the last forgotten uh, abyssal lord. Yeah, it's it's the yeah. um the essence of the. I of fucking the uh -huh. know it. Yeah, right. I mean it's waffles. I hope you enjoyed today's session. <laughs> Boy, you rat bastard! You really made <laughs> froggy also, chair just my. What's our stats <laughs> total supposed to be no at uh, at um level ten by the way again? Because we don't. Yes. Do... Wait. God damn it. I'll do that next session. I'll do that next session. I like right. how the whole group disbanded together to gaslight car, but it's so good. 
<laughs> I I knew I knew you were gaslighting Car Car Car. I mean, I kind of figured that it was a case of Void hiding something from me, but everyone else can see. But like, bro, no. my fucking heart dropped when like I looked over to my character. I'm like, wait, there's no, there's not a second square. Oh yeah, I mean, Lynn actually can't see anything. She's just fucking with you. Yeah, I think I'm fucking with you. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> gaslighting. Wait, so, <laughs> wait, yeah. so, straight up, Froggy Chair is gone now. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Ah, shit. Uh, real quick, for since we're all level ten now, I want to make sure I have everything like in order. What's our stat total supposed to be again? Well, you haven't had a uh, ASI increase in le- until like level eight, so it should just be a usual one, right? Uh, he's a rogue. I'm a rogue. Uh, they get at level 11. Or is it level 10? Level 10. Uh, oh, okay. No, it's level 10. Uh, fighters, oh. it's 6. Rogues, it's 10. No. Oh. And yeah, you'd have a sign do stuff. Okay. I uh, just got to... plus 2 plus a feat, right? Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's either uh, or for the extra ones. Yeah. For the extra ones from Rogue and Fighter, it's or. But the feat does give the air sign. If you pick one. That case, I guess yeah. I'll be looking into feet. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's session. It was very fun. And yeah, <clears throat> I'll just be into the EU. And uh, thank you, Itzy, for the uh, and dude guy for the raid. <laughs> very kind of you. And uh, yeah, I'll just be in. Anyway, so, I've cast the secret call to be a 